Yeah. Welcome everyone to the show. You're with Ray Smith and Sandra Johnson. You're listening to the I Am Real Estate Show on KBOI The Voice. We appreciate you spending your time with us today, and we hope you enjoy the show. We're back. Let's continue our conversation with Regal RC, owner of Regal Pest Prevention. It's a local company and winner of multiple service awards. Um, let's talk about your service award before we get on. To How many awards have you won this year? I mean, over the years? Well, for the last four years, we've been voted uh, Tucson's number one pest control company in the Reader's Choice Awards, uh, which we are extremely proud of. That is, uh, you know, a local, you know, uh, Tucson resident uh, voting. Right. right. That speaks volumes to us, you know, and, and we don't pay for those votes. They're just organically uh, registered and uh, we couldn't be more flattered uh, to be voted that w- there's a lot of great companies out there. You That's know, what I was thinking. A lot of big you know, companies yeah. that have. And I know a lot of the owners, you know, and it's, I consider it a tremendous honor. And so that's a big one. Then, of course, just, you know, n- nationally uh, with the different advertisings, we're one of uh, Home Advisors and Angie's List uh, top uh, vendors, of, uh, you know, to be, uh, you know, dialed in on. Uh, Yelp is a good one. Our reviews are outstanding there. We've gotten a couple of Yelp awards over the over the years. So. Great job. I didn't even and know the Yelp Business gave Bureau. out awards. Yeah, Better Business Bureau. So I've been nominated for the Torch Award a uh, number of years. Uh, need to follow through on that. That's actually uh, quite an honor. And, and you know, th- there's a, a, a lot of, you know, things that you need to do to submit and, and then get uh, nominated and then you know, eventually maybe voted for. But all of those really in the end are just indicative of uh, a staff of employees that we're really proud of, you know. Um, I ask, someone will say, hey, what what makes a really good pest control company? And the very first thing, I, every time I say it without fail is, it's the employees. Right. That's it. It, it, it. It's not, everyone has the same access to the chemicals, the equipment, the training, it's all out there. You know, now, now some companies will go a little deeper and take it more seriously, right? But when it's all said and done, it's the staff. And if you want to measure a good pest control company, are your employees happy? Are the are their employees? What's their retention? Mm-hmm. And the average retention of my staff right now is running five to six years, which That's in our awesome. industry is outstanding. I mean, right. so I've got nine, ten years, and then I've got people that are one to three or four. You know, our average is running between uh, five and six years, which is extremely strong. In t- uh, nationally, the average is one point five years. Wow. wow. And I've been thinking that most, most of the reasons why those guys are leaving in one and a half years is not because they're mad at the company. They just got a better option. And I'm sure they come and talk to Oh, yeah, company. absolutely. You know, when I have an employee that's invested that much time and, and there's an opportunity knocking on their door, mm-hmm. I tell them, you know, I give them blessing and say, you, you know, go and take care of your family. You know, do what's, do what's good for you, what makes sense. I believe in things happen for reasons and also for seasons. Mm-hmm. And time with Rego Pest is one that we cherish. And when it's come to an end, it's come to an end. There's no, and the door is always open. You know, everybody that has left my organization in the 16 years I've owned it, the door is open for all of them. You know, and so uh, great. I hear great stories of some that have moved on and they're doing other things, and I'm, I couldn't be happier for them. Yeah, that's really awesome. It speaks a lot about the opportunity that you provide to your employees. One of the things that you recently talked to us about was a, an. I, I want to say part of your your company culture being one of giving. Right. Yeah, that's important to us. And uh, we're always looking for opportunities uh, to meet the needs of people in crisis uh, locally or abroad. And uh, so we came up with um, uh, awarding our employee of the month, if you would, uh, not just uh, you know a night out to dinner with with the spouse or significant other, but you know we wanted to go beyond that. So we make a donation on their behalf of their favorite charity. And one of our young ladies, one of my administrators, was uh, awarded uh, this past month, and so she chose Young Life, which is oh. a children's camp up in Williams, Arizona. And they have an incredible facility up there. If you've ever, if you, if you're interested, check it out. Go on their website, younglife.com, and uh, they cater to uh, young adults, young children uh, with disabilities. And it's a camp that is designed to not only have fun with them, but also uh, equip them, uh, prepare them for you know some sort of vocation. Uh, they do a lot of different activities up there and so forth. Anyway, sh- this young lady is all about kids and she's all about meeting the needs of people. 
and so she chose Young Life, and so we were happy to do that. So now the next award winner will choose their charity, and uh, we'll be happy to support that. That's um, awesome. I'm just going to say, if you're not posting that on social media with a link to those organizations, you need we, to. Yeah, well, we, you and I talked about that just recently, <laughs> and uh, uh, for those that don't know, I had the tremendous pleasure of bringing on uh, one of my partners on staff uh, in uh, late 22. So I've tasked him, uh, and he's gladly accepted to take on our social media. And so we're getting our feet wet. We're dialing that in. You know, we've grown very organically over the mm -hmm. 16 years, which I'm proud of. But we're gonna we want to be a little more intentional this 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 next you know five years, say. Uh -huh. So John, uh, his name's John Patton, great guy, and uh, John is going to help facilitate that. So you're right. We need to get him to bolster that and uh, celebrate those celebrate and yes. and give those organizations kind of a, a second look. Yes. you know, and a second life, if you will, right, on social right. media. That's yep. awesome because yeah. I've never heard of them. So oh yeah, that's they're really fantastic. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah, it's such a cool thing too to see the local community supporting other you know, other aspects of the community to be supporting these nonprofits. And I'm really impressed to hear that you said locally and abroad. Yeah, you know, it's, I'm, I'm glad you said that because uh, just recently one of our uh, su uh, organization we support, um, Global Training Network, uh, they do uh, 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 Bible ministry and teaching in, in foreign countries and they raise up indigenous pastors to teach and, mm -hmm. and, and cater to the needs of orphans and, and, and widows and so forth. Anyway, in uh, Rwanda right now, there is, um, I'm sorry, forgive me, Uganda, there is quite uh, a little bit of a crisis going on and there's a tremendous amount of refugees and we were just notified of uh, displaced residents. Uh, and so we immediately felt uh, compelled to give. And so we, we stroked the pen, got it out there, and uh, we're right now praying over a great, deal of refugees that they sh we got pictures they're basically camped on the side of a river somewhere it looks like something out of a wars war movie uh lean twos and and tarps and 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 cardboard and you know you name it uh tremendous risk for these children and, and these people and so uh, a great need is over there and so there's an example of abroad uh, we just love helping that's awesome yeah. would you tell our listeners again how to reach your company? Yeah, so uh, by phone, it's 744-6177. Uh, uh, That's 744-6177. And our website is real easy. It's rigopest.com, R-I-G-O-P-E-S-T.com. And uh, take a look. Uh, we really appreciate working with you folks, and uh, we just love your heartbeat and uh, aligning with you, and we, you know, we're kindred here. I love it. I love being with you guys. We want to thank Rigo RC for being here, the owner of Rigo Pest Prevention. The Johnson Smith team is your resource for all real estate, all things real estate. Give us a call, 520-850-1725, 520-904-711, or 520-373-6864.